Uh, good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. Today with another test, I want to do some testing on the Model 3 again in terms of the consumption. Something is not right. I think Tesla is not very honest here with what we are actually... So the, the car is charged to about 60%, 59% or something it says here. Um, it has stopped this morning at this level and I won't I will not and I will not change the maximum charge level here in the car so I leave this all as it is because let me show you something here I realized on the sun off when I drive to work and back this is about 30 kilometers I usually use only it usually uses only about four kilowatt hours per day for driving there and back but the sun off shows us see the last column there eight kilowatt hours so a little bit more than twice as much as the car shows and i thought well this is weird i know i'm sitting in the car in my lunch break for half an hour and have got the aircon running but this is on 27 degrees so it doesn't use that much power certainly not uh, but twice the energy the car shows don't know what's going on here so I want to do a test this morning. Uh, car is still plugged in, air condition is running. We are going into the trip meter of the PHEV of the Tesla dog and resetting this one. Reset trip. Okay, there should all zero out. Excellent. Okay, we leave this in here for reference purposes and then we can compare this with our meter in here. Yeah, these, these 5 amp, they are only going into the air condition now to operate the air conditions. You can see it's not charging the battery. Okay, let's unplug the car and go. Okay, let's fire up the car. Okay, so we can now see we have used uh, 0 0.56 kilowatt hours to drive and the car already shows one. So it obviously rounds to the full kilowatt hour in the car so we've got a little bit of a rounding error here uh, as well it's very interesting to see when you go downhill for quite a while that the um, kilowatt hours used to drive actually drop so you may see your kilowatt hours going down at some stage if you go downhill for a long time i didn't know that before all right so i'm almost with a customer here now uh, so we have used 1.2 kilowatt hours to drive 10.1 kilometers so far. I'm I don't know why the the dog sometimes has these bold figures in here. It doesn't show me any 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 consumption at all here. 118 watt hours per kilometer regenerated 0.4. So obviously some elevation. Um, okay, I'll do the work here and then we go back in the car and see if it has rectified itself. Usually it takes some time to uh, get all these numbers fixed um, yeah sometimes it does that it doesn't work quite as well as the PHEV watchdog definitely not okay so I'm back in the car uh, driving back home it doesn't really matter where I drive and how I drive we just want to compare these figures with the actual power we recharge in the car again afterwards so uh, 1.35 kilowatt hours used now and still the numbers have not corrected itself it's still showing weird numbers sometimes it does it i don't know why so we've used uh, 1.52 kilowatt hours and the display changes to two kilowatt hours so it rounds to the full kilowatt hour let's see if it goes back to one actually because we've got a fairly long downhill stretch here can regen enough yep yeah, goes back to one kilowatt hour used if I accelerate yep yeah, two we are just on the corner of 1.5 kilowatt hours used uh, we are back home now 127 watt hours per kilometer this is the interesting part actually so 20 kilometers and let me write this down yeah, I know, finally using the whiteboard again, right? So, and then we multiply these two together and we come to 
2.6 kilowatt hours we have used for this drive and this is exactly what the car shows as well well it rounds up it rounds up to 3 kilowatt hours but 2.63 kilowatt hours exactly this multiplied by this one is exactly this number okay so in theory so what i will do now is i go into the battery and turn off the schedule so it will start recharging right away yeah i think it will recharge with 9 amps anyway we can push it up to 12. okay let's see so i reset my counter here in the sonoff app so we can exactly see how many kilowatt hours we have pumped into the car until it's fully charged uh 12 amps maximum i can get one hour 45 minutes okay let's do this and this recharges exactly to the same threshold as it was before air condition is off okay uh let's um talk to you again in one hour and 45 minutes i'm just monitoring the situation while the car is charging we have now recharged exactly 2.64 kilowatt hours since plugging in let's have a quick look at the tesla app yeah i'm doing battery stuff again and it says 35 minutes so one hour 10 minutes around and we still have hmm, don't know there's still a gap to charge so let's see when it turns off in half an hour how much we have actually pumped into the car So the Tesla app tells us charging is complete. We can just check here on the meter and see if there's a flashing LED. It's not. So charging must be complete then. No power going into the car. The watchdog shows us 4.2 kilowatt hours charged into the battery to uh, yeah refill it again to the state it was before we actually drove off this morning but how many kilowatt hours does the sonoff f app shows us let's have a quick look at the sonoff and do a refresh there we go 4.67 kilowatt hours 4.2 measured by the dog but 4.67 is actually went actually into the car there's no actual evidence how much kilowatt hours you have charged into the car this is all driving statistics so what does this all mean well to drive 20.5 kilometers the car showed us we have used uh, 127 watt hours per kilometer which resulted in a usage of 2.6 kilowatt hours but to uh, recharge the battery to the same starting point we have used 4.67 kilowatt hours so in reality to drive 20.5 kilometers i have used 4.67 kilowatt hours including all losses this is including charger loss cable losses losses inside the car inside the actual um, uh, rectifier and yeah let's call it charger loss inside the car so the total usage is 228 watt hours per kilometer for this distance and this would mean we have around 80 percent more energy usage than the car actually shows you 127 228 so don't trust whatever is on the display here this is only for driving the car this has nothing to do with real world consumption of the car. 4.7 kilowatt hours almost. This is what you need to pay for. Not the energy what you actually need to drive the car, but what you charge the car with. Yeah, 140 watt hours per kilometer. That sounds very, very good and very, very efficient and very economically, but this is not the right figure. But this is not the number how much energy you charge into the battery to make this trip possible you can also see the dog shows you only 4.2 kilowatt hours charged but this is not what you put into the whole system this is yeah i don't know this is potentially what arrives in the battery 
Well, if we assume 4.6 going into the whole system, but only 4.2 going into the battery directly, and we do the maths with 20.5 kilometers driven and 4.2 kilowatt hours, gives us a consumption of 20, uh, 204 watt hours per kilometer, watt hours, uh, which is still 60% more than the car actually has shown us. This would be a pretty bad efficiency actually then. <laughs> so what I just saw is the actual state of charge is a little bit higher than it was before maybe. Uh, can you remember at the beginning of the video I showed you there was a little gap in between the green area and the white line and now it's fully filled. So state of charge might be a little bit higher. I have forgotten to check it on the uh, on the Tesla watchdog. <laughs> I may not be correct with my results here because it sounds insane that we have to use 80% or 60% more energy to refill what we have used. If you remember the old videos from the PHEV, uh, my trip to work, I said always I'm using about seven, six and a half, seven, seven and a half kilowatt hours for my commute. Well, this would be even more. Yeah, this clearly shows I'm using more than eight kilowatt hours per day when I don't have appointments after work. Uh, yeah, a little bit, maybe between seven and nine. Okay, I've got the aircon running during my lunch break, of course, which sucks up a lot of energy, but still it should not be eight kilowatt hours per day when I use only four to drive there and back. So I'm not sure if I made a mistake and I should probably check the state of charge of the battery before I make another test. All right, next week, another test. Just commute to work, just come back from work, no other appointments and let's see, and let's see how much energy the car actually uses to recharge. Uh, it sounds insane. Anyway, guys, I leave this all with you for the moment. Thanks for watching as always. Thanks for all your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia. <laughs> Signing off. You stay charged. And we will see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.